Hello friends, my name is Jayendra and welcome to another video of SW Environment Consultants and Engineers. This is video number 2 of Water and Wastewater Quality Testing Lecture Series Part 1. In this video, we are going to learn about the analysis of oil and grease in wastewater as per IS 5520B. So let's start the video. In this video, we are going to learn about, first of all we see the introduction of the oil and grease then principle of measurement for the process, equipments required in analysis, step by step procedure of analysis, then we will see the calculation and lastly we will understand about measurement uncertainty. So let's start with the introduction first. So oil and grease is very important parameter to be removed from the wastewater because the oil and grease is generally uh, removed in ETP preliminary treatment by the scraper. Okay. So uh, oil and grease uh, doesn't get mixed with the water so it forms a layer on the top of uh, the water so the it it uh, resists the oxygen to be transferred into the water so that's why the it is the reason uh, that is it, it is removed and preliminary because if uh, oil and grease containing uh, which water if it is transferred to the aeration tank it will uh, restrict the oxygen to get transferred into the into the water okay so that is the reason and uh, it is uh, very important to measure uh, and remove oil and grease from the wastewater before discharging into any water body, any river or any and anywhere. So it is very important because uh, if uh, the wastewater is containing oil and grease and if you discharge such type of water, it will harm the environment around it. So generally oil and grease is found in wastewater of petroleum industries, chemical industries, food industries or some type of textile industries. So, uh, this was the introduction. Now let's understand the principle of analysis for oil and grease. So there are many types of emulsified oil and grease present into the wastewater. So to extract such type of emulsified oil and grease, we have to use solvent. Here we are using thirty percent exact as a solvent. So this solvent and wastewater sample uh, mixed properly and shaken properly, so they can form a emulsion the solvent and oil and grease in the emulsion which is very difficult to break. So in that case we have to evaporate the emulsion on water bath at the temperature of 80 degrees centigrade so the solvent gets evaporated and traces of oil and grease remains in the picker. So by that way we waiting and post waiting the picker we can uh, measure the oil and grease present into the wastewater sample. So let's see which type of equipments will be required for the analysis. So there are some type of instruments, glass weights and reagents uh, required for the analysis. Let's understand all three of them. So in instrument, if we'll see, we'll require water bath for evaporation process. Secondly, we will require a weight pellets uh, to prevent and post weight the beaker. Next, we will require filter paper and pH strips for measuring the pH of the sample. In glass weights, we'll require uh, separating funnel Measuring cylinder to measure the sample, uh, picker, and desiccator for desiccation process. So, in chemicals, we will require only two chemicals. First is uh, hexane as a solvent, and we will uh, require sodium sulfate powder to soak the moisture. That we will see in the process. So, now we will start with step by step procedure for oil and grease. Firstly, take beaker of 100 ml. Wash it proper with tap water and give a wash of distilled water. Clean it properly with tissue paper and dry it in oven at the temperature of 100 degree centigrade for 10 to 15 minutes. After drying, transfer the beaker into the desiccator containing silica gel. While operating all this, uh, wear proper gloves so uh, the moisture on your hands can be prevented to get transferred on the beaker and the uh, further weight variation can be avoided. Now, uh, after the moisture is soaked by the silica gel, pre-weight the beaker in analytical balance and note the reading as W1. So here is the first part. Next, we will take the sample. Here we are having sample of STP inlet. The ideal sample taken in this process is 500 ml, but if required, you can dilute the sample accordingly. Here we are taking the sample, 100 ml sample and we will dilute it uh, till 500 ml 5 times. 
so we will take uh, 100 ml sample and we will dilute it to the 500 ml so here we have diluted the sample and will uh, further adjust the pH so every glassware you are using in this process please make sure you wash every glassware with tap water and distilled water to avoid any contaminations so now we will adjust the pH of the sample ideally you have to adjust the pH below 2 so firstly we will check the pH of current pH of this sample with help of pH paper so the current pH of this sample is approximately between 4 to 6 it is so we will bring down the pH with help of 1 gem 1 HCl approximately 1 to 2 ml of HCl is enough to bring the pH below 2 for 500 ml of sample so now we will add 1 ml of HCl first to bring down the pH below 2 we will mix it now we will again check the pH if it is below 2 or not so here you can see the pH paper color is red so we can guess that the pH is come down to the below 2 of pH now we will transfer this sample to separating funnel Now in next step, we will measure 30 ml of N hexane and we will transfer it into the separating funnel. We will measure 30 ml in measuring cylinder. Now we will transfer this hexane to separating funnel. In next step, you have to shake this hexane and sample mixture and please make sure you turn on the cork so the gas can be released while the shaking. So shake it for approximate 1 to 2 minutes. So whenever you shake this sample, the hexane we have added will mix the oil and grease present in the sample and will form the emulsion of hexane and oil and grease so we will wait for 5 to 10 minutes to get the layer separated and then we will move further so now after 10 minutes you will be able to see two separate layers the upper layer you can see is of hexane and oil and grease emulsion and the layer uh, below the hexane is of water sample so Take a beaker, open a cork and drain the water sample slowly. Precisely separate the sample. Whenever the exon layer is about to uh, drain, stop the cork and uh, drain this exon sample in the pre-weighted beaker. We will see that. So here you can see the sample is almost collected. Now stop the cork. <laughs> Take Watman filter paper and add the sodium sulfate, approximate 10 grams of sodium sulfate into the, into the filter paper and then open the cork and uh, filter the hexane so what is the purpose to add sodium sulfate so if any kind of moisture or water content present in this uh, hexane the sodium sulfate will soak this moisture and will filter only hexane and oil and grease emulsion to the beaker so after soaking the moisture or water content from hexane the sodium sulfate generally convert into the solid form so whenever the sodium sulfate is converted into the solid form please take new filter paper and new sodium sulfate for next procedure 
so repeat uh, from step 6 to step 11 once again and collect the filtrate of hexane into this beaker so after completing this process two times take the beaker containing emulsion of hexane and oil grease put it on water bath for approximate 50 to 60 minutes and let the hexane evaporate set the temperature of water bath at 100 degree centigrade now after evaporating we will move further so after the hexane is evaporated take the beaker and clean it with tissue paper properly you will be able to see small drops like small contents of oil and grease so they are oil and grease the hexane is already evaporated now we will put this beaker into desiccator which is containing silica gel so the moisture will soak by the silica gel and then we will take post weight of the beaker and note it as W2 after noting the post weight W2 we will move to the calculation part so let's understand the calculation for oil and grease so the formula of calculation is W2 minus W1 into 10 raised to power 6 multiplied by D uh, divided by volume of sample in ml so W1 is initial weight of the beaker uh, W2 is final weight of the beaker and D is dilution factor so here the difference of W2 minus W1 is 0 0.0029 uh, multiplied by 10 raised to power 6 multiplied by 5 because we have diluted the sample 5 times okay so the total volume of sample taken was 500 ml after calculating these numbers the answer will be uh, 29.8 milligram per liter so in our case the oil and grease present in given sample is 29.8 milligram per liter so let's move to the measurement uncertainty so uh, this method uh, 5520b of oil and grease tested in single laboratory for internal laboratory method validation study so combined uh, data of all these studies shown the standard deviation of 8.7% so basically the measurement uncertainty of this process is 8.7% source of the information is AFA 23rd edition 5520B so uh, now uh, we have understood everything about oil and grease starting from introduction principle of measurement step by step procedure calculation and measurement uncertainty I hope you have understood everything if you have any doubt or any question you can ask us in comment section and uh, like the video share the video with your friends and we will soon come back with new video till then save our environment around you thank you